Hi uh, there, ladies and gentlemen. I want to show you what I believe is an exploit thanks to the new Automatron expansion for Fallout 4. So after you beat the, the major quest, you get this repeating quest called Rogue Robot. As you can see, I've, I've completed a lot of them. And it sends you somewhere into the world to defeat some sort of rogue robot. So here we are, and there it is. There's the rogue robot. Boom. The rogue robot is destroyed. Now, the exploit comes into what I've noticed with this this new quest line is these robots always appear surrounded by settlers. So let's see if we can find them. And the interesting thing about this is they're nowhere near a settlement. So we're at Fort Hagen. Uh, so this is the Fort Hagen filling station, really close to the satellite array. You know, you've got no settlement around here at all. And yet, there are some settlers, typically... Yeah. There's one. Just in the nick of time. And there's one. <clears throat> Didn't expect help from a stranger. Thanks. And look at this. You can ha you can send them to a new to one of your settlements. Are you looking for a new place to settle? Could be. Why? Do you know a somewhere good? I sure do. But here's the thing. The menu that pops up when you send one of these settlers to one of your settlements has every single settlement available. Now this is odd because typically your settlements cap out after a certain number of settlers, and this is due to your charisma level. So let me just show you how it works. Let me send this this guy to the castle. Thanks. We'll see you there in a day or two. Great. So this one's going to the castle, and the other settler sadly won't go. If you try and talk to the other settler, it'll just act like um. Yeah, like here's another one. I'll try and talk to her. I just. I just want to trade a few things. Sure. And she acts like she's part of your settlement. Even though she's just randomly walking around this this place. So, uh, you can only recruit one at a time. Anyway, if you go to the town where you sent your settler to, let's go to the castle, you're going to see that I've got... <laughs> I have quite a lot of settlers there because I've been... Uh, using this exploit over and over and over again. And the reason it's an exploit is because you're typically capped by your charisma. So the way it works is every settlement you have can add 10 settlers to your charisma level. So let's take a look at mine. My charisma is at 13. Now I can augment this by wearing some sharp items so these are random pieces of legendary gear that I've collected over the many months of playing this game. And each, each one of these pieces adds one charisma to my character. Then you can go and eat some grape mentats, which adds five charisma, and that brings you to a total of 23 charisma. So then you add 10 to this, and that leads to 33. So the maximum number of settlers I can have at each settlement is 33 and yet here I am and I've got 44 settlers here how did that happen well I've been using this exploit I've been whenever I come across a settler when when doing this uh, rogue robot quest the settler doesn't take into account my charisma cap when I send them to my settlement and so this one's got 44 different settlers and you can see I've been putting them to good use manning the shops look at all of these shops that I've got in my castle. So, I just wanted to point that out. Um, there is what I think is an exploit in the game at the moment due to Automatron, where they just randomly summon settlers just where you so happen to be going to kill these rogue robots, one of whom you're able to recruit to your settlement, and it does not check your settlement cap. Uh, your charisma cap. So I'm curious to see if you've experienced the same thing. Can you repeat this? Can you get this to work in your own game? I'd love, I'd love to learn more. Uh, so share with me in the comments if you can. Thank you very much for watching.